Happy Saturday everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a pool by using multiple life hacks. And there's no, it's not life hacks, it's Minecraft build hacks it's put together. So as you can see there, that was um, the pretty much the outline of the pool. And if you look in my hotbar and inside the barrel, that's pretty much the stuff that you're going to need. So let's get started by pretty much placing blocks on the outline of the pool, just like this. And... Um, also digging two blocks down from the outline. Uh, this is actually my first time doing a voiceover over an edited video, so let me know in the comments if I'm making any silly mistakes or if I am doing everything correctly. Okay, now that you have dug down two blocks, you have to dig one block into the wall so that you can replace the wall material. So now that we're done, um, start placing the wall. Uh, I used light blue concrete for this because it looks pretty nice and it's a pretty solid color if you want to use it or you can use whatever material you want but in this build tutorial I'm using light blue concrete. And then also dig out the floor but don't dig the block into the wall because that's pretty much a waste of resources so just dig down to the floor and also uh, place normal concrete, normal blue concrete. Not the light blue one, just the normal blue concrete. As you can see, I'm making quite a few mistakes, even falling into the void once, so it's kind of hard to place. But I'm done now, so um, now that we're done with the general structure of the pool, start placing down the water one block at a time, um, or should I say layer at a time. And you just have to put the water buckets on all four edges for it to automatically fill up the entire pool. Now let's move on to the ladders so that we can get in and out of the pool. So just place three ladders like that and then use iron bars as pretty much um, hand supports when you're getting in and out of the pool. So I place it in a curve like that over the um, pretty much overhang so that people have somewhere to grab their hands when they want to get in and out of the pool. So I just build the same thing but in a different place as well. And lastly you gotta place a ladder um, in the block that's not in the water because well you gotta get in the pool right? Okay so now that we're done with that um, let's, pl let's put the blocks back. Oh yeah there's also the hopper as a little decoration like you know when the water has to drain it goes through um, some sort of hopper maybe it's not a water hopper but it's some something that's similar to a hopper and it drains the water so we're putting the hoppers there for decoration they don't actually serve any purpose you don't have to do that but I did that because decoration okay so now we're done with the pool what's next let's see we have the hot tub with the bubbles. That's why we're using soul sand. You know? So, um, first off, start off with the edge, just like the pool, and um, also dig down one block, not two, and also not into the wall. So just, I made the ladder here first, and decided to remove it while I was recording because I did not know how walls work and the bars connect to the walls. Okay, so just dig down the floor and after that replace the floor with soul sand. I'll show you why in a minute. Or if you uh, know why, just yeah, just replace it with soul sand. Then as you can see here, I placed the ladder again don't want the ladder to like intersect with the wall but it's pretty much unavoidable in this case so I just I just put it there now after that uh, you gotta waterlog everything including the ladder and then as you can see everything becomes really bubbly and it automatically floats you to the so uh, surface now here it's a hot tub, right? So, of course you have to have 
some sort of smoke as like a decoration. So I have a hay bale and um, a campfire to make the smoke. Uh, the smoke is able to go through the soul sand and appear above the water just like that and adds a little bit of decoration, you know, immersive like, immersiveness into it. Then just do the same thing on the other side, just dig underneath the soul sand and add the hay bale and the campfire. Okay, so now we are pretty much done, and we can continue to the next part. Um, first, of course, you have to put the blocks back. <laughs> like that. The next part is going to be the chairs. Um, these are pretty basic, but they work. So I got three different variants for three different colors. There's the greenish bluish one, there's the red one, and there's the orange one. If you want to substitute the wood in the red one with the um, the red mangrove wood that's coming in the next update in a couple of days, sure, do that. It's your build. I don't really mind. But right now, uh, I'm playing on 1.18, so I just use the crimson wood from the nether. And boom, we are done with seating. Um, after this, we are going to be doing the diving board. So, the 1 meter diving board, not the 10 meter one yet. Okay, 1 meter diving board, you only need 4 materials, but a lot of each. So, let's start with the polish and the side stairs. Actually, uh, let's start by building 2 blocks up in um, around there. As you can see, I'm kind of indecisive while recording. Just, yeah, um, build two blocks up, and after that, build a slab forward, then two um, iron trapdoors forward, and then put the carpets on top of the trapdoors, just like I do in the video. Then after that, uh, two staircases up, so that you can actually get to the uh, diving board like that and boom we can jump in the water now just do the same thing three more times and you're done with that part by the way if you're still watching if by the end you think I deserve it please don't forget to like and subscribe all right we're done let's continue so as you can see, we can jump in the pool, we have a ladder to get out, and uh, what's the next part? It's the 10 meter diving boards, which are uh, right next to where the lifeguard place is going to be. So let's put the 1 meter diving board resources back and move on to the 10 meter diving board. So as you can see, I am actually using strip spruce wood, not sp strip spruce logs because it has uh, the wood on all six sides. So let's build 10 blocks up and um, we can continue building the actual diving board. Which one do you think is more fun? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, 1 meter or 10 meter diving board? So now that we've built 10 meters up, use the trap doors and build forward. Actually, uh, build forward one block of spruce wood first, then use the trap doors to build two more blocks forward and then put light gray carpet on all three blocks of both spruce wood and spruce trapdoor. And then of course, don't forget the ladders. Without ladders, then how do you get up? It's 10 meters. Are you supposed to climb it like a tree? I mean, if you can, then that'd be impressive, but ladders are usually the way to go. And then you can climb up it and then jump off into the water. 10 meter diving board, pretty fun. And then also do the same thing on the other side, of course. Um, I've sped this up 500 times, so you, you just have to watch the other side's tutorial if you want to do this side. Okay, we're done with the 10 meter diving board, and now we have the lifeguard. So I decided to build this a little bit like a uh, surfboard. So first off, build 5 meters up, and then... Okay, we're 5 meters up. Then um, 
build sort of horn-like things off the side and then build two blocks forward like a square just like that one block two blocks and then build a little edge like that and then after that we add uh, two long seats for the lifeguards just in case there's more than one and then add a sign of course um, same thing with the other side of course you can substitute this with the mangrove wood that's coming in um, the latest update which is dropping in a couple of days so also you have to add the ladders of course um, to get up and as you know you're just sitting here watching oh no somebody is in danger then you can just jump down like that okay now that we're done with the lifeguard portion we are going to do the restrooms and sink so i decided to speed this up because i don't think this was uh the best quality build that i could have done i'm going to do a specialized tutorial on this in the near future so just watch this sped up clip there's a couple of um little features that i added so as you can see those uh birch buttons i use them as pretty much um uh, soap because they kind of look like soap I'm not gonna lie so I put two or three birch buttons there I forgot to use as soap okay now we are building the walls of the um, of the toilets and as you can see I'm building the toilet over here just add the little trapdoor and the lever open up the um, lid of the toilet and then also uh, build the walls of the showering areas, you know, for privacy. And then I also build up the walls again, continue building it up. And then this is the last part, I guess. Um, I finished building up the showers and um, yeah, it's a pretty basic design for the showers. I am also going to build a ceiling with some sea lanterns as lights. And boom, now we have a nice little shower. So now we are pretty much done. We have a pool, we have a hot tub, we have a seating, 10 meter diving board, 1 meter diving board, lifeguard, um, what else was there? Bathroom, shower, sinks, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.